Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with another geometry node. And what's more, this geometry node is actually going to be turned into a full course aimed at beginners who want to actually get into Blender 4 and geometry nodes. So with all that said, let's get into this one. This time it's going to be stairs, and as you can see, this is what you'll be greeted with when you first download the actual pack. Now this stairs here is just an example of course, so let me show you how we get to this point and just how easy it is to use. So if I come up here to the two interlocking links just to turn that on, and then what I'll do is I'll just move this to the side, and what we'll do is we'll bring in a new curve. Now it's up to you whether you bring in a path, or a curve, just remember, I will show you both ways actually, just remember though if you bring in a path, you're not going to have, for instance, these handles, so these handles won't be available. I would use paths if you intend to create a flight of stairs which are straight. If you're doing anything with a curve, I would definitely use a bezier curve. So let's press Shift A and what we'll do first of all is we'll do a straight flight of stairs, so we'll come to curve, bring in a path, and here we go, we'll make it a little bit bigger. And then all you need to do is you just want to bring this end up. So I'm going to just bring this end up like so. And then all I'm going to do is come over to my little spanner, add geometry node, click the down arrow, and we're looking for stairs. And there we go. You can see it's as easy as that to bring in a flight of stairs. Now, the other thing that we can do is as well from here, if I press 1 to go, on, uh, to go into front view, if I press E then, I can actually start dragging it around, and you can see that the stairs actually moves um, as I'm actually extruding it out, which is really, really handy. Now we can also turn it with the actual path, but you're not gonna have as much versatility as the Bezier curve. So now I've showed you that, what I'm going to also show you is, you can actually change the material on the fly as well, which makes it really, really easy if you wanna test out what your material is going to look like or what colors you're actually going to give your stairs. So if you come over here to the right hand side, you'll see under the geometry nodes, everything set out for you, Everything's really easy to use, just as all our other geometry nodes. So if I come over now and I change the base, so if I come down and port it to base material, you can see now that actually changes. If I come to my stairs, and I'm going to put this on handrail and poles, for instance, and then I can come to my handrails and poles and put that on like so, and you can see just how easy this is to use to change in and out materials. All right, so that's the actual main part of the stairs. Now let me show you just how powerful it is. So for instance now, let's move this to the side and what we'll do is we'll bring in now a bezier curve. So let's bring in a bezier curve this time and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna come in then and I'm just going to lift up the front of this like so and then I'm going to attach my stairs to this. So again, add geometry node, click the down arrow and it's basically a couple of clicks and there you go, you've got a flight of stairs. Now let's pull this out a little bit so we've got something to work with. So all I'm gonna do is just press E, pull it up, pull it up, and let's make it a little bit bigger, like so. And there we go, well, there we've got a flight of stairs. And now let's move it over, like so. Let's also come in and test out these handles. So if I pull this out, you can see now, I can make a much, much smoother turn on there. Something that the actual path won't have. If I come to this one, I can also do the same thing here as well. And the best thing is about these, let me just uh, put the materials on here. So let's come to base, let's come to um, stairs, and let's come to handrail. And let's also come to this handrail like so. And the best thing then about this is we can actually come in and we can not only come in and let's say delete uh, vertices from the bottom so you'll see it all levels itself up but what we can also do is we can come into the bottom of it or anywhere in the middle of it, press Alt S and what you can actually do is pull it out. Now if you come in as well with um, proportional editing on, you can also press Alt S and you'll see as I pull this out, the whole of the stairs starts to come out like so. So it's really, really handy if let's say you're doing a old country manor, or you're just doing a simple flight of stairs, or you're just doing some stairs which is leading up to a door, very short flight or something, you can see just how handy this is. And I haven't even got started on what we can actually do with this within the actual geometry nodes panel either. So let's actually go into that now. So if I come to my stairs, I think actually we'll use um, this one here. It'll be easier to use this one because I've already set it up. So if I come into here, you'll see that we've got 
first of all the base so this is the base going down we can actually change the length um, of the stairs within the base and we can also change the width of the actual base which makes it really handy if you want to have you know your kind of base coming to the side or if you want your base to be a little bit thinner than what your stairs are so let's put it like this and let's pretend this is the base and maybe this is a carpet going up or something like that and then what we'll do is we'll change now our stairs so if you come down to the next one you'll see everything set out so we can change our width of our actual stairs at the bottom we can also change the height so we can lift it up and make them much more let's say blocky and the best thing is if you want these actually hanging over what you can also do is change the depth as well so now we've got them hanging over and you can see that this is really handy let's say if you've actually got a wall following this up all the way instead of this handrail now the other thing is we can actually change the handrail as well so if we come down first of all we can actually change the height so we can change how high it's actually going to be or low to the ground it's going to be so really up to you what you want to do with this we can then also change the x radius we can also change the y radius and what we can also do is change the resolution like so and you can also see that this has shade smooth and it's shade auto smooth on which gives it a really really nice look the same for this one everything has got this shade auto smooth on um, except uh, these stairs because obviously we don't need them on there now the other thing we can do with this let's flatten this out a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten it out like so to make a beautiful handrail going up and then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it so if I rotate it now you can actually see that it rotates on either side going all the way up meaning you can make beautiful stairways for any of your projects or games now let's move down then to the actual poles which is the last part and what we can do again is we can change the actual radius now just bear in mind that when you're changing your width so if i come in and i change my width to something like that let's change the uh make them a little bit bigger like so now these obviously are way too big but i've done that just to actually show you something let's also turn on the resolution to four let's turn off shade smooth and then what i can do is i can also change the actual offset just to bring them all in line so you can see again how easy it is to actually set those into line we've thought of everything guys here so we've really tried to make them as versatile as possible and the last thing is i want to change if i want these on every one so let's click this up and you'll see it's now on every two we can also click the offset so we can have this at the bottom and just move them up one we can have it on every three if we want instead or something like that so you can see it's really really highly versatile so there we are everyone that is 3d tudors blender 4 stairs geometry node and i honestly think it's one of the best out there and don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out this actual course when it comes out as a complete guide for beginners on how to create geometry nodes this is quite a complex geometry node i'll just go into that now to show you so if i pull this up we can see how everything is laid out so when you come to do the course you're going to learn how to first of all frame everything lay everything out how to think through things how to put it all together and finally then how it all comes together so it's going to be quite a big intensive course for beginners or people who want to touch up on actually creating nodes and things like that we'll also be going through all of these options here how do we do all of these inputs which appear over here and last of all we'll be coming in and changing the defaults because you want to make sure that whenever you're doing geometry nodes you actually have some defaults on with minimum and maximum because there are times in geometry nodes where you might go too far and actually crash blender okay everyone all the links will be down below including a single license and a commercial license and check out i think we have like seven or eight other geometry nodes at this point and we really are this year aiming for a hundred geometry nodes all right everyone happy modeling thanks a lot see you on the next one cheers